Though Pang Tong was lost, cheers of joy from Liu Bei's army and his peasant followers flooded Loa Castle. Liu Bei could not help but think that this was not the right path. But to avenge Pang Tong's death, and to answer the fervent desires of the people of Yi. Liu Bei advanced his army on the Yi capital of Chengdu. For he had finally made up his mind to attack Liu Zhong. Meanwhile, hearing of Pang Tong's death, Zhuge Liang left Guan Yu in charge of Jing and set out to join the battle. He joined up with Liu Bei, and together they looked to swiftly capture Chengdu. Driven by the lost dreams of his fallen friend and ally, the dragon would soar over the hills of Yi, where the feathers of the phoenix lay scattered in the wind. Secure Chengdu, Yi province will be ours. Lord Liu Bei will finally have a country of his own. And with the land divided in three, then. I bring news! Lord Zhang Fei has gone to Lord Liu Bei's aid. Our troops await your orders. Very well. All forces, advance. I know waging this battle violates the principles of justice and honor, but we need new province. Begin marching toward our target. I do not want anybody to fall behind. Lord Liu Bei's virtue is known to the people of this land. They would welcome his rule. Tong Tong's devotion showed me the truth. I have no doubts about this battle. Fight me now! For glory! Regroup now! I must retreat! This is not the end! There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Than a prepared mind. You're doing great. I will try to live up to your example. Out, invaders! Chengdu is our land! Call upon the thunder. Under your rule, Yi province will wither and die. Lord Liu Bei's wisdom is so
defeated. But I will fight on. You can fight on if you like. But it is Under its current rule, you promise is doomed. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Not necessarily to lose. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Ma Chow is on his way to assist the enemy. He is approaching from the north. Call upon the thunder. After he was defeated by Cao Cao, I heard that Ma Chao was looking for Zhang Lu. Zhang Lu is not worthy of him. It would be quite a coup if we could acquire his services. Report! It seems that the Allied reinforcements have arrived! Lord Zhao Yun is heading for Ma Chao to talk with him. He is taking Lord Li Hui, who knows Ma Chao well. If they play their cards right, we could acquire ourselves a very powerful ally. Hey, you're not bad! I can't let you beat me, though! Stand firm! I doubt I have ever seen anything like it. Tremendous fervor. We will accompany you. Ma Chao's allegiance would swing this battle firmly in our favor. I am counting on you this way. Ma Chao is an honorable man. If we plead the righteousness of our case, he will join us. Report! It seems that the enemy reinforcements have arrived. I must retreat. This is not the end. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Stand against me at your own peril. Stand against me at your own peril. You will learn to regret this in all peril. For mine, I call upon the thunder. We cannot do anything if our forces to retreat is not necessarily to lose. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. What a stunning display of strength! You have earned my respect. Insidious trespassers! You will be duly punished by my blade. The name is Mata. It's a pleasure to meet you. You save me. I call upon the thunder. I'm sorry. I call upon the thunder. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. I have been defeated by Cao Cao, and now by you. I have lost everything. I do not deserve to live. Then take your life and give it to Lord Li Wei's cause. Walk with us towards a righteous goal. I call upon the 
thunder. Do exactly as I have told you, and you will not encounter any problems. Stand against me at your own peril. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Such an amazing effort. Everybody, follow me to victory. That's what I like to see. Now you've got these old bones aching for a fight. I call upon the thunder. Soldiers are fleeing the castle. You! Strong! Me! Stronger! Your new job. The battle is all but over. There is no need to shed more unnecessary blood. Liu Bei has shamed us all. We are blood, and yet he turns against us. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. You are doing an excellent job. I call upon the thunder. It is clear that you were not great enough to rule in this time of strife. And Liu Bei, he is great enough? A benevolent ruler. With Chengdu in his hands, that is what Lord Liu Bei has become. All was proceeding just as Zhuge Liang had envisioned.